You will never use Google Chrome again after you watch this video. Okay, guys, so uh, what we're going to do is take a look at the differences in groupings or containers from, from a tab perspective on Google Chrome ver versus Mozilla Firefox. We have the latest version of both installed. Chrome is on the left, Firefox is on the right. Now, um, by default, any of the group functionality you need in, in Chrome exists out of the box, right? You can right-click on any tab, even the new tab. Basically, you could just choose the color and the title. Now, on... Firefox, you need to install an add-on first by Mozilla. Firefox multi-account containers extension lets you carve out a separate box for each of your online lives. No more opening different tabs to check your work email. So it basically segregates the cookies um, and those sessions under the hood so that you can um, be logged into multiple accounts simultaneously with the same browser. Before this, you would have to have different browsers have different sessions, um, log in and log out. It was really uh, a pain in the neck. So we're gonna add this extension. And that's it. So now um, we have containers installed. So now what you do is you right click on the, uh, the new tab button and you can choose through any containers that um, you've set up or you can create your own. And when you add a new container, you get to choose from these different options and uh, colors, right? So let's make one. Um, let's make one in yellow called Daily Driver. The main difference is you cannot stay logged in across multiple sites with groups. If you can see here, I have a movies and TV tab, and it's just a bunch of different uh, streaming services. Have a tab for Massey Media, and then some basic Google stuff as well. So in the um, in the movies and TV tab, a group, I am logged into Netflix. And if I open up a new tab that's not part of that group and I go to Netflix, I'm still logged in, right? So um, for containers, let me do a movies and, and TV container. I'll go to Netflix. Now you can see on the movies and TV container, I'm logged into my account. You can see that same account exists uh, across both browsers. Right, but the difference now is that inside and outside of the group on Chrome, I'm logged in with the same account. But only inside of the movies and TV container in Firefox am I logged in with that account. If I open up a new tab and it has nothing to do with that container, and I go to Netflix, it doesn't even have the browser history. You see how this pre-filled netflix.com slash latest, uh, it doesn't even have the browser history. So you can see two tabs side by side same browser session, uh, one is logged in, one is not. And the way to manage these is you uh, you can choose through each one of your different containers, rather. When you're inside of a container, you'll see the, the title, the color, and the icon here as well. So if we were to add this Netflix into our daily driver container, and we log in with a different account, now they would be separated. We could have two um, different instances of that going simultaneously within different um, containers. When you go to add-ons and extensions um, and you look at the options that you have here, you can enable it in the bookmarks menu, you can change the theme, you can able, enable synchronization across all of your devices. You can even use VPN so that uh, you can really take more advantage of having things separate from each other. Maybe you need VPN for you know, your work accounts and things like that. You're still getting that organization. You're still getting that ability to, um, you know, lump similar tabs in into groups or containers. But the ability to have different logins for, you know, three different Outlook accounts or two Gmails or multiple Netflix or whatever the case might be is, is really a game changer. And you can see here um, that Chrome is, is my daily driver at the moment. But uh, I am absolutely switching to Firefox. Containers will help you get work and personal stuff done, especially if, you, if you're someone who has a lot of different clients and you're moving around through throughout the day. Um, you know, this is eliminating my need to switch my KVM back and forth, and it's eliminating the need to um, have multiple different browsers and stuff like that. So you have a work container, you have a personal container, perhaps you have a container for uh, entertainment or different clients that you're working with. But... Um, 
school. School was a great one. You can have your school container separated from, you know, anything you're doing outside of schoolwork. So just wanted to give you guys a quick tutorial. I'll make sure that the link for the plugin is in the description. You know, please give container tabs a, uh, a spin. Let me know in the comments below, you know, what your experience was and what your thoughts are. Thanks.